Welcome to McCool Media Training Basics for Final Cut Pro 10. This video is just a short video on favorites, how to use them, how to tag multiple parts of the same clip, and to take those favorites and put them into the timeline. So let's just go ahead and get started. We've got the view set up here, Final Cut is open. And uh, this is my default view, the way I have it set up. Um, I'd like to do, just to make this a little bit faster, when I tag my favorites, I close the, you know, I try to create some extra space. So I'm going to go ahead and close the inspector by clicking over here. And then I'm also going to expand over my media library a little bit so I can see more clips. Since we're in the thumbnail preview and I have skimming on, I'm going to be able to mouse over everything really quickly and see all the clips that I have just in the most efficient way. Also, if you want to make even some more space, you can click on this little arrow on the bottom left in the middle, show or hide. We're going to hide the event library so we don't need to see all the other events that we have on the drive because we're just really worried about what we're in right now. So I've got 554 clips. There's quite a lot in here. Now the way you do favorites, you can select an entire clip or you can select ranges within a clip. What that means is I can select a second here or a second there. I can select the first couple seconds and the last couple seconds. Or I could even take 10 parts of the same clip and make them all a favorite. And then I can view only my favorites by sorting them, but I'll get to that next. How you actually tag a favorite, let's just click on this clip. We'll highlight the whole thing. It's selected with yellow. So there's two ways to do this. You can either hit the F key on the keyboard, and that's going to turn the top of this little bar turns green. So that's going to make this a favorite in entirety. The whole clip will turn into a favorite. Now I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that because I'm going to show you there's another way. So let's, let's just click on this clip. And now I can also select a favorite by clicking on this green star. It says mark the selection as favorite, F. That's the shortcut, as I just did. So we click on that, and that's a favorite. Now if you want to select entire clips and select, let's say we just take four or five of them all at once, you just hold down the command key and just click on the number of clips that you would like to favorite. Let's say I already know that these are a particular workout that I really want to highlight. And I'll just select them all and hit the F key. Works the same way. Now let's, let's say we change our mind. What if we don't want those to be favorites now? Well, you can head back down to this little empty star, which is uh, the shortcut key is U, and you can clear those. So now I remove the favorite. It's really easy to do this. Um, sorting media in Final Cut Pro 10 is really slick and um, it really helps to make the editing process more efficient from the start to, to the end, whereas um, some other programs aren't so friendly on the front end. Now, let's just say I have a a longer clip and I want to take multiple parts of it and make them a favorite but I don't want the whole thing so we're gonna do that by clicking down the mouse dragging and releasing that's one way to select a range on a clip now you see I have this little hand now I'm gonna if I hit the F key right now it's just gonna take this yellow selected area of the clip and make that a favorite now I can also continue to play this clip by positioning the playhead and hitting spacebar. I'm going to hit stop. I'm also going to turn down the volume. We don't need to really hear that. So let's do that again. I'm going to hit the spacebar and I'm going to hit spacebar again to pause. I want to, let's say this is the start of my favorite. I can either click my mouse and drag again 
or I can hit the I key for in. I'm going to start my selection now by hitting the I key and then I'm going to hit the space bar and then once I get to the end, okay, that's enough. That's the end of my favorite selection. I'm going to hit O on the keyboard. So there's my out point. Now there's my selection and now I hit the F key and there's my new favorite. You can also drag these handles that appear when you mouse over the end of your selection and I can drag them out and back in. So if I wanted to extend my favorite by a little bit, I extend that out and there's that empty spot of the green on the top, it, it's not there. If I hit F it's going to fill in. What you're going to do is if you want to remove that section, you can just drag the playhead back over and you hit the empty star again and remove that favorite. Now if you want to tag multiple all at once and do it quicker, you can just hold down the command key. So you can skim, say OK, hold down the command key and you're going to just select, let go of the mouse, you're going to keep the command key held down and then you're just going to make multiple selections. So I've got five. I just made five selections and now I can hit the F key all at once and make them all a favorite all within one keystroke. I can also continue to hold down the command key and drag the mouse over my selections and once I'm satisfied and let's say that's enough I'm gonna hit the F key again to tag them all as a favorite. Now how do I take these into the timeline? Well first we can sort them by favorites only. So let's say I don't want to see all the other stuff. I only want to work with my favorites. That's a really common way to edit in Final Cut Pro 10 is to narrow things down to what you like, hide the rest of it, it doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't get deleted, you just only get shown what you want to see. You're going to go up to the top left of your media previewer here in the event and you're going to click on this button. Now there's settings. You can either see all clips. Right now we're hiding rejected, which as we just did the favorites, if you actually hit the delete key on any clip, it's going to tag them as rejected and it's going to turn red. I can actually just show you that real quick. Let's say this one, I'm going to hit delete. And it turns red for a second and it disappears. Now it doesn't actually go anywhere. If I, hit, if I go and change this to all clips, there it is. But since I have hide rejected, anything that I say delete to, it's just going to put it back behind the scenes so to speak, so we don't have to worry about it. Also you can set no ratings or keywords. That's going to show you only things that have no favorites, no keywords, nothing on them at all. But of course we only want to see the favorites that we selected. So there they all are. What it essentially did was take all of our selections and place them into a place of their own. And actually, I can select all of these all at once by hitting Command A. And that's just like every other program on an Apple. You hit Command A, select all, and then I can either drag these in with the mouse down below. As you see, it's going to drop them in. I'm going to put that back. Or I can just hit E for an append edit to put them into the timeline in order. So that's a real easy and simple way to use favorites and put them into the timeline. And I hope that helps you guys starting with Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, if you want to learn more about McCool Media, head to McCoolMedia.net and look for some more training videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.